Good morning from a sunny Staffordshire or Worcestershire canal. Just outside Stafford's uh, Queensville kind of area. It's Sunday morning and um, we decided to cruise today. We stayed here longer than we thought and we always knew we were going to cruise on Sunday but then we realised that we should probably visit the Aldi which is just up on the bridge. Um, and of course because it's Sunday it doesn't open till 10 so yeah. <laughs> somewhat a later start to the day. But it's not too bad. We're basically just going down to Penkridge today. Um, there is a Midland Chandler's down there. We need to pick up a lighter colored paint for some of the um, work we're doing on there. And uh, I need to get some fresh hoses and things because I think I need to drain the antifreeze and refill it and try yes. and deal with this leak that keeps cropping up. Um, it's a nice little mooring, like a nice little trip into Stafford. There's a little bit of green here to throw the ball. There's actually a park just on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, with the exception of the fact that there is no services <laughs> to deal with things of a bodious nature. <laughs> it's it's good. It's it's a really nice little setup. Yeah, so. there's been quite a few viewers that have gone past, so that's been nice. And there's lots of boaters moored here. I think it's like a boaters, boaters favourite place. Yeah. Lots of hire boaters out and about this weekend, which is nice. Canal's been really busy, people chugging up and down. Mm -hmm. It's not so narrow at this point that that is at all a problem well, people going past haven't been shifting us back and forth or no anything. not at all but i think that's more to do with the mooring like the fact that it's deep enough like it's only a problem when people go past when, when you're in a shallow yeah. yeah and this is this is well dredged everything seems to be you know kind of yeah. good i'm sad to leave it i'd like to stay here another month you wouldn't. No, but... <laughs> but it's been a good morning. On to Pinkridge. Yeah. Um, not too much in front of us. A couple locks, I think. Uh, I haven't even looked. Yeah, there's definitely a couple locks. There's one south of us, and then there's another one north of Pinkridge. Um, I think there might be a few more. The map is down there outside of reach, so not totally sure. So stay tuned to find out how many locks there are. Yeah. And what exactly. other features there are, because we don't know. <laughs> well, I did, I did read the thing, and basically... It's funny because the the color commentary on this particular page ends at this lock halfway up the page. It's like, well, you know, Penkridge is kind of an interesting town and everything. And then you get to this lock and the only thing that remains of a wharf is a steel bar uh, that was used for helping to turn boats. And then from that point onwards, they're just like, I don't, there's nothing, there's nothing more to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go and find out after yeah. we've been to Aldi. All right.
So apparently, this here is all that remains of Shut Hill Wharf. We're at Shut Hill Lock. That is a turning post um, that was used to turn boats into a small wharf that was here. A small wharf which has now apparently been buried underneath a road bridge in the Nicholson's Guide. That is the last point north of Pinkridge mentioned on this page. There's still another several miles up. There's an entire town, but it's all simply ignored um, because that is, I guess, what you'd call a landmark or maybe a bit of history or <laughs> a site worthy of you. It's gotten cold. <laughs> it's mitten weather. Mainly it's just gotten really bloody windy. Really windy. <laughs> and uh, and that it leads to some substantial chill on the back of the boat. Also leads to some drifting of the boat. <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of drifting. And a drifting of some of the others driving towards us and stuff. So yeah, we um, were coming along and we were just coming up to um, uh, Marina. And this boat nosed out. And you slowed down and then they came all the way out. Yeah. And then I was, I was really annoyed because you, well, you kind of, you stopped to let them out. And then I was like, they're going to steal our lock. And then I was like, actually, I really don't care if they steal I, I lock. kind of figured he was just moving the boat onto one of the moorings Which or he something. Was. Yeah, like, so. But I, then he moved around the corner and then there's this massive side wind. So, because you'd slowed down, you got pushed into the sides and he was trying to moor on the other side and he was getting pushed into. Towards me, which is why I was backing up. So, that was yeah. a bit fun. But yeah, but, uh, the wind can be. It's kind of surprising. You don't realize just how much what feels to the to the skin as sort of a subtle breeze can really, yeah. if it hits the boat at the right angle, and it can do quite a large amount to just shift you sideways without you really if, being able to do anything about it. Especially if you're trying to maneuver or something. Oh yeah, it can spoil everything. Like like, you know, I've been in the middle of a turn and then the wind hits me and it's like, yep, that's it. I'm just I'm not able to turn any further until this stops. So. Yeah. So we've made it to the southern north of northern outskirts of Penkridge, where we, to my surprise, came up a lock and found ourselves standing beside the Midland Chandler. I pointed at it because Michael was down the lock, and I was like, "It's closed," and he went, "Okay." Yeah, I'm like, I didn't go okay. I was like, "What?" No. And then you just sort of turned and ignored me. And, and like, then five minutes right. later, he's like. What's close? <laughs> I like the Midland Channel, which is right there. <laughs> yeah, it's just from my perspective, inside the lock, all I can see is the faded flag of a boat builder. And you're the one that's been here before. Yeah, but okay, so, so the last time I was here was when I came by car with Martin. He gave us a ride up to uh, get the shift cable for our boat um, back before we need to make the big rush up to Wolverhampton. This was several months ago, and... I recognize the building now when I saw it, <laughs> but I could have sworn it was on the south end of Penkridge, like inside the town, but off yeah. the side. I thought it was near the boat inn. Well, anyway, turns out today's drive is shorter than I expected, and so we're done earlier than we expected. So we're going to wait here and go to Midland Channel tomorrow morning, and then probably go to a different mooring. It's, not, it's all right here, but... We're uh, basically right beside a... Uh, Boat builder. A boat builders. And um, we did three locks. Did we do three locks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three locks in total. Yeah. Because we didn't know this morning. How many we do? We did three. Yeah. Afternoon. Normally we get started in the morning. Not today. Um, well, we did. We, we got up in the morning, but the trip to Midland Chandler's meant waiting till nine, and then realistically we got there at nine thirty. <laughs> so it's just been asking questions about paint, asking questions about bits for the antifreeze fix I've got to do to get rid of a little drip. Buying the wrong size Jubilee clips, having to take them back. Making a return trip to get the new Jubilee clips because they will fit and yeah uh, and then waiting for a phone call from a doctor. And then George losing his ball in Midland Chandler's about 17 times. Yes. 
underneath the paint display. So we we're just going to hop forward two locks today into Pank Ridge itself. Um, go to the water point and the waste point and all the points and then find a mooring. Yeah. So not too much to do today, so it's okay that we're getting going a little bit late, but we are definitely going a little bit late. So onwards, upwards, forwards, backwards, whichever way we're going in. in Penkridge. We Town are. of the Penks. <laughs> On a ridge. On a ridge. The river Penk runs through here. Is that what it's called Penkridge? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's basically the ridge on the river Penk. So, you know. We're on the 48 hour visit to Moorings. I think we're going to have 48 hours here. Mm -hmm. I remembered something we should have got from Midland Chandler, so we're going to have to walk back. <laughs> I'll walk the dog back tomorrow. Yeah, luckily it's not too far. That's about it. That was a very short trip. We came up two locks. Uh, the most eventful thing that happened from my perspective was the sudden appearance of a young girl on a swing in front of me. A swing? Yep, she was swinging right out in front of the camera. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> All right. Good. The other eventful thing is it's blooming windy again. Yeah, lots of wind. The stern was like a foot away from the towpath at one stage. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid a boat that's on the side and I've got to basically got the front end of the boat pointed across the canal while I'm driving sideways. Thanks very much for watching. I hope the wind isn't too windy for the audio. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if my domestic squabbling is getting to you. And uh, subscribe. Oh, and hit the bell if you want notifications. And comment if you have anything to say. Yeah. We got it in one. Yeah, totally. Rock morning. Good morning from. Ah, cold hand. What the? No. <laughs> Just being affectionate. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Your arm's too heavy. No, it's horrible. Jeez, uh, that was. Well, okay, I won't be affectionate. It's no, coming. I it's just, yeah, well, is it, no, I, my fingers aren't that cold. I don't, I can't. Ah. I just touched my microphone. Chills up my spine. <sighs> Let's start again. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> when we were coming to deal with whatever you were doing there. Yes, of course, it was recording. Just checking. And uh, we're, we're done like now. like boat. It's not our boat. It it's it's like a Liverpool. It does look exactly like us. It is. It's a, it's a Liverpool semi-trad. Same. It's got the newer. Um, wow, that looks exactly like our boat. It's got it? a like um, it's got a orange ring on the roof. It's got a solar, a solar panel, panel <laughs> on a on a flat yeah, aluminum mount. thing that looks exactly like a car. If I wasn't on my, standing on my boat, I would think that was our boat. 
Wow. That's scary. That is almost identical to our boat. I mean, Liverpool boats. <laughs> the Ford Fiesta of Every waterways. Ever so common. Yeah. So we mm. are going to grab a quick bite. In Pinkridge? No, here. Oh, are we? Okay. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Well, I let's just... just finish the salad and then we'll see what we find. Okay, in we're finishing a quinoa salad that Joe has invented. And, I didn't uh, invent quinoa. Well, she didn't invent quinoa. She invented quinoa with copious amounts of garlic, lemon. You're making it sound horrible. You really No, it's really it. good. It's lovely. It's incredibly good. It's just, it's just, you know, we. O I opened up the fridge last night and was like, well, there's no vampires in there. It's, it's just so a lot rude. of crap. No, it's really good. So it rude. is. It's absolutely the so best. bad that this morning you was like, I'm going to have a bit of your salad. Because it's so good. Yeah. But I opened up the door and nearly keeled over because, you know, vampire. <sighs> Another domestic, another video made. <laughs> All right, are you ready to end? Yeah, I'm waiting for you to end. What do I, what do I do?